Thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to download my free production toolkit. The kit comes with all the major and minor MIDI scales, MIDI chords, and five original sample loops to get you started on your production. This kit is totally free and you can get it by downloading from the description down below. Okay, so I think I want to create some sort of like old school Drake type beat, like very um, R&B kind of romantic kind of vibe, like maybe from the Take Care era or nothing was the same. So what I'm going to do first is I have a contact instrument here. Let me open this up and I am going to bring up my multi out preset. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, I made a video on how to separate all the samples from the play series drum contact libraries. So I'll make sure to link that video down below. But okay, from here, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load up 40's very own drums because I wanna create a little drum pattern first. And I think let's set up a tempo here. So uh, 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 90, let's do maybe like 96. Let's see what that sounds like. That's good. Okay, so here are the samples. Now, obviously there's a bunch of different kits here. This is just one, but I did like, that kick is fine. And that kick is good. So I'm sorry, that Tom is good. So let me just go ahead and do a quick little skeleton here. From here, let's go ahead and just kind of fix these up a little bit. So let me do, using my toolbar here. Perfect, let's go back in there and let's look for like a hi-hat. Okay, so now I have all my drums here. I have a basic pattern and they're all routed to the mixer so I can basically manipulate them and add effects as I see fit. And this is what we have so far. I'm probably gonna change it later, but so far this is a skeleton. First thing I'm gonna do is let's add a bit of an EQ to that clap. I'm just gonna do a, this thing here and then add a reverb. Let's add a room verb. Okay, from here, let's bring up another instance of contact, but this time we're gonna bring up 40's very own keys. So that is right over here. Ooh. You know what? Let's just make this quicker. I'm gonna go to Scalar. Let's open this up. Um, let's pick a key. I'm gonna do C sharp. Let's do minor, keep it nice and moody. And then... What we could do is go to voicings. Let's try sevenths inverted. Usually sevenths have a more kind of jazzy feel. Ooh. Let's uh, map this to our keyboard so that I can do this. And let's come up with a, a bit of a chord progression here. So starting out with C sharp minor seven. Ooh. If that's not super sad and melancholic, and I don't know what is. <laughs> that might be the patch too. Okay. Hey, really quickly, if you're enjoying this video, then do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Liking this video is an easy way to let me know that you enjoy this content so I can make it more, but also to let the algorithm know so it pushes it out to more people and helps this channel grow. So again, if you're enjoying what you're seeing today, then do me a huge favor and hit that like button. This already sounds pretty good. Uh, this is like a, like a pad, piano pad thing. I'm not quite sure, but we are going to duplicate this because I wanna see if I can layer this up. Bring this down here, da da da. And then let's see what other patches we have. I'm going to solo this for a little bit. That is a, that is a really good like keypad thing patch. And it looks like you have plenty of controls here at the bottom so balance release cutoff res, uh, resonance choral reverb and the cool thing is I did see a video 
where it was talking about how the 40 knob is basically like that signature 40 sound kind of underwater lo-fi type of thing. So... That's pretty clutch. Okay, let's see what else they got here. Not a fan. No. Actually, I think we can drop this down and go over to keys. That's where we were, I believe. That could be a good little layer, so. Cause it kind of has like a built-in vinyl thing in the background. Sounds like a built-in RC20 kind of thing. Let me see how that sounds like together. Um, we have to have, we're gonna call this keys, and we have to have some sort of bass line in here. And you know we gotta go with that super gritty, thick, underwater kind of bass. So let's just call this bass here, and let's see what he has. Cool, but that's not what I'm looking for. No, I need that like, low, rumbly, That might be it. Let's go ahead and bring down these chords. And then, oof, what chords did I play? <laughs> C sharp, minor seven, something, something, something. Yeah, I believe it was G and an F, okay. So let's take off these from the top. That's not bad, but let me see what I can do here with these effects. Okay, here's the problem that I'm hearing now. Um, it sounds a little too woofy in the low end. So we are going to have to add a bit of an EQ. Let's just cut out everything below 100 on both the key and the pad. Yeah, like all this. Leave some space for the, the bass. Let me see what it's doing EQ wise here. It feels a little better. I wonder if these uh, drums here have any percussion uh, material. Let's see, what do you got my guy? Let's see, let's see. Perk? Okay, so from here, we definitely need to add some sort of EQ, reverb. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what the... Yeah, I'm cutting everything below 100, and then we're going to add a reverb. And then let's add a bit of a delay, so an Echo Boy. Yep. Let's do the feedback here, cut off some of the lows. Let's do quarter note, boom. Now let's do half note. Increase the feedback. Let me listen to the drums here by themselves. Okay, so this is actually going faster than I thought. <laughs> uh, but I do want to add some sort of like percussion. Now I'm gonna step out of the 40s area on drums here and I'm gonna bring up splice because I do want some sort of shaker, some sort of something. So let me see what I can find. Okay, so I found this little shaker on splice, nothing crazy, but adds a little bit of movement and it's a stereo shaker. So it kind of creates a little bit of width, um, but we do need to kind of filter it out just a little bit. I also went back to that perk and I took out that second hit and I just left one. With a delay, it kind of serves its purpose and it doesn't become too overbearing, so. 
Although the clap, I feel like could use a little bit more oomph. Okay, let's see if we can come up with some sort of lead for this. So let me duplicate this. Okay, so I think I have all the elements to fully arrange this beat, but as I do that, I did want to tell you about today's video sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a digital distributor for your music, and with prices starting at $20 a year for unlimited uploads, it is by far one of the most affordable. Now, there are plenty of things to love about DistroKid, but one of my favorite features is the ability to add lyrics and then have them be synced over to platforms like Instagram and Apple Music so that people can sing along. So check it out. This is a song that I recently released with a collaborator, AD the Artist. It's called Lose Me, available now on all streaming platforms, but if you see here, you can go and add your plain lyrics, which is a prerequisite to adding the sync lyrics, so you do that here, but then you save them and go back to sync lyrics, click on that, and what's going to happen is you're going to play the song, and you're going to hold down the space bar whenever you hear the lyric. You're gonna release it whenever the lyric is finished, and you're gonna go through this entire thing until the song is done. Once you're finished, DistroKid will take care of the rest by sending it over to platforms that support this feature, like Apple Music and Instagram. If you're considering releasing your music out to a broader audience and consider using DistroKid with my link down below to get you 7% off your first year. Okay, so here's the whole B. Let me know what you think of it down below. But there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the beat and the video. And if you did, let me know by clicking that thumbs up down below. Don't forget to pick up your DistroKid discount by clicking the link down in the description. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.